Hello and a very Merry Christmas from me to everybody at St James and at St Peter's. Most of you I probably won't get to see uh, before Christmas Day, uh, particularly as we've had a case of Covid in the house, so I'm trying not to go out at all. But my prayers uh, for all of you for a peaceful and a joyful and a Jesus-filled Christmas in your homes. Little thoughts. Um, somebody on the radio was, was talking about where... Um, where the word a micron came from and it's a letter of the Greek alphabet and they pointed out that there's um, there are two letter O's there's little O micro O micron and there's the big O the mega O or omega um, and um, anybody who's into healthy eating will know all about omega-3 and omega-6 and omega-9 uh, all this sort of stuff that's good for you whilst we know that from experience in the last few weeks that omicron is definitely bad for you and the Bible in Revelation talks about Jesus as the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. And it talks about a new heaven and a new earth, a whole new creation, a place where there's no more mourning or crying or pain, where every tear is wiped away, where death is no more, where uh, everything is made new by God. That's the completion of the work begun at Christmas. And I pray that as Christian people, we can be people of the big O, not the little one. That the Omicron might bring sadness and grief and death and separation. But we look to the Omega and the Alpha, Jesus who is Lord of Lords and King of Kings. And I pray that he would be the thing that overshadows our Christmas and our lives. And he would be the one who governs our future and our hopes and everything that is coming in 2022. We don't know what's coming next, but we know that Jesus is with us. In the book The Shack, which uh, I really do recommend, it's um, kind of imaginative work, but it's really great. And the main character at one point uh, turns to Jesus, who he's kind of like with in person. And he, and he says to Jesus, Jesus, I feel so lost. And Jesus says, yes, but you're with me and I'm not lost. And I love that. We might feel lost, but if we're with Jesus, then we're not because he's not lost. And all we've got to do is stick close to him. So I pray that you'll be close to Jesus this Christmas. I pray that whatever other things happen, that you'll know his presence and his love and his peace pray that you have a very blessed Christmas and look forward to seeing you in the new year. Thanks very much for listening.